all right so so that new oil pressure switch is in and it's still doing it i'm gonna show y'all what it's doing so that item it's all right till you drop it in gear so the way i'm gonna diagnose it might not be the same way everybody else diagnose it what i'm gonna do is google this car google the manual all right and then i'm going to i'm going to see what's the idle pressure should be and that'll tell me what it should be i got a pressure gauge it fits small it, it's a four small block but i put an adapter on there for ls so I'm gonna put that gauge on there. I'm not doing this today. I'm done with this car for today. I'm gonna put that gauge on there and then I'm gonna see um, what the pressure is at idle. And if it's less than what it say, then I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pump. Um, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be less than what it say because the pressure, the switch is new. It don't come on until it warms up. So that's definitely an issue. But uh, when I changed the oil, it wasn't any metal shavings or nothing on the oil was black nothing mixed nothing crazy but uh so i'd say one more day we'll replace that uh oil pump so guys ses we back on that cadillac so diagnosing the oil thing i know this car has oil pressure but the problem happens when it's warm so what i did took the oil pressure sender out i'm hoping that these are the same same uh thread but if this is the oil pressure sending unit from my ls run stand so i just disconnected it i'm gonna let it run till it get warm and then i'm gonna see what the numbers are That's too low for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pump. That'd be the best case scenario. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the car in some more and start doing that. Try to pause my music. But I was in here grooving, man. If I knew this car was gonna be this much work, I would not have replaced. I mean, I would not have got it. But, uh, if everything work out, man, it should be fine. So, the old boat. Y'all can see, ain't no editing or nothing. But uh, it's literally no shame, so that's not questionable. All right, phone about to start going off, I already know. So, back from the store. I got an oil, melting oil pump. And the good thing about this pump, I know I ain't even holding the camera on the pump. I get my gloves back on. But the good thing on this pump, trying to knock this out quick is it come with another spring for higher pressure so this red spring if they remove the green spring and replace it with the pink it's like reddish purple though so i'm gonna put this high pressure one in there that way uh it'll get eight to ten more pounds of pressure which is okay so, remove this cotter pin in that cap, take the green spring out, put the new spring in, and then it's the pickup, it's the oil pickup tube. So with this, you're supposed to put it in with a driver, but you can use a, uh, a wrench. And I'm gonna show y'all that. What's up, baby? So, it'll go in something like this. And you put a wrench over this. 
and hammer it. I might heat this thing up. Shocking my hand, man. All right, we made it. The pan is off, so took a two by four, put it on a on a, on a uh, crank pulley, jacked the motor up enough for the trans. I mean, enough for the the bottom end to clear the pan, like in this area, and slide it back. But um, two bolts holding on the uh, oil pump them two so i'm gonna go on both those i think it's a 13 14 15 something like that but uh let's go do that real quick y'all can't really see but uh it's two boats on the passenger side so i'm going on both that get the pump down get my angle weld it put it back in put everything back together man uh at the astro auto repair told me about Oil, I really, really hate getting oil on me. So there's no point in washing up till I'm done. There's no point in washing up till I'm done, so. Let's see what y'all see. Yeah, so probably. Go up a little bit. But it is pretty close. A bit more. about it all right so get my mig set up and get some tax on here all right the wheels ain't the prettiest but uh it definitely ain't coming out so I don't know what type of material this is, but it ain't cast. I mean, stainless steel. This is steel though. So, um, like I said, it got a hex piece. And then I put that high pressure spring in there. There's these two bolts hold this on. I think a gasket came with it, but I'm about to check. Um, start cleaning the pan, getting all my materials together. So I can call this one done.
I had to run to a store me a job, boy. That make me mad that time. At least come with a little knob for you to put a hole in it for those who don't know. What that's for. Um, so I gotta go in here and put some RTV in the corners before I put this oil pan on. So I need to just do that when I jack it up. Explain to y'all real quick. So it go in each corner but on the motor so you can like pack a lot of it in because if the motor leak it's usually gonna be the corners first let's get boom and so i clean it up i don't dry fit my gaskets some people do but i don't I cleaned it off so I could uh, get it smooth. And then lube this thing up. This should be enough. Yeah, I put a little too much oil. So I had to wipe off it on the corner so, so these could actually stick. So I'm about to clean up under that one more time, jack the motor up, and then I'll be putting it on. All right, so I added extra to the pan. And literally, I squoze like all that out to put on the motor. So you see the corners? Get it in there. Like, see all the work. Don't be cheap with the with the with the with the RTV. Because if you do, you're gonna be doing it over or trying to seal it from the outside. I see people do that little raggedy stuff too, putting silicone on the edge on the outside. That is not the right way, but I mean, if it works, it works, but still, if you are already at this point, make sure you do it right. That's just me, my opinion, but uh, let me go ahead, I'm about to shove it in, get a couple bolts in, let the motor down, get all these parts back on. It's running a whole lot smoother. I was touching on the headers, so they got a little smoke coming off. But, uh, doing good, no leaks, burning them gaskets in. I'm going to let it run, see what it do. Alright, the cold start, the cold start now is about 50 PSI, so I'm letting it warm all the way up. And then I'm going to record again to see where it's at. Hopefully my phone don't die. But uh, we just about to make sure oil pressure light don't come on while it's warm. Make the door go up. Cut that old screw off. Check in the light went off. I'm guessing they were correlated. But uh, nope, they were. 